Hi, this is um, a quick video about different file formats used in TrueTops. The ones I'm going to focus on is DXF, GEO and GMT files. For the DXF files, I'm going to go into this folder and the file I'm going to get is T5904, uh, which is there. I'm just going to as you can see this is a DXF file, it's a file created by our drawing office that is sort of used in AutoCAD and when they export it, um, they export it as a DXF file so we could use this in different programs like in TrueTop. So I'm going to copy that file, close that, I'm just going to paste this into our True Tops folder, so I'll paste it in there. And now I'll open up the True Tops and I'll import that into here. So I'll open this file up. As you can see, it's now um, the, it's a DXF file, it's in a Tops 200 folder. It's under, I've got to change this, or it's at GAO at the moment. I'm going to change that to DXF and that'll come up in a sec. So now you can see the 5904. So I'll OK that. And what we want to do here is we only want specific layers. So I'll just click on Adopt Specific Layers. So we only want the outline layer. So I'll put that down now. So I'll just OK that. And this will bring this up. So I'll delete the construction lines. Total. Now what I'll do here is just check for any open points on the contours. That seems to be OK. So now I'll save this. So I'll go File, Save As. So I'm going to take, take that off. So this will now be saved as a GEO file because it was a DXF, now I've saved it in the true tops, it's converted to a GEO file. All I'll do now is just put some details in. That's right. So number is let's put our caps lock T5904 and it's called a hinge post. Um I'll just put my initials in there. So now I'm going to enter in the material ID, which is a sort of our unique code for the for the actual material. So it's two mil mild steel when this comes up, it's, as it's running a bit slow at the moment. So two mil mild steel. Um, we just put some other information. the date in there. So I'll OK that. I'm just going to overwrite the old file because this is an update. Um, so that's done. So this is now saved as, you know, this was a DXF file. It's now being converted into a GEO file that can be used in the true tops. So now we go we now open this up on the punch side of it, so it's T5904, now, now it's a GEO file, so we'll OK that. And change that to 1000. OK. Place that outside the sheet, and we go to a single part mode. Um, what I want to do now, I'll go into automatic processing. I'll right click on here, um, so put some settings in here, so I'm going to go into my settings and just pick the tools out. And this will automatically add the tools. Uh, right, now um, 
it's if you look on here there's some radiuses on it so that's actually a two mil radius four mil diameter so i know what tool does that which is a special seven so i'll go on to the special and then pick out the special seven so now i want to go on to punch processing create an element obviously an element now i'll pick the radius and it's saying said no suitable cutting cutting edge found please put down tool and i'll identify cutting edge so i'll place a tool that's the cutting edge so i'll click on that and it's a jump on there so now i'll do the rest of them they should automatically jump on as soon as i touch the actual radius So all that done. Um, we've got a cut out here. I know that's an actual odd size cut out, but what I think I'd do, because we've got a 12 mil square, it's only 0.1 oversized, but that'll do the job. I'm going to find the centre of this with the construction lines, and I'll do the same on this side. Um, I'll just put these this tool in manually so I put six in there um, and I'll get the 12 square square where is it all right 12 square is there so I'll go single hole I'll just put that in manually I'll just do this by eye roughly and just make sure it matches up the oven and I'll just put a horizontal construction line in there so do the same this end two holes all right that's done um, for the rest of this let's just check that little cut out there that's 1.7 so we've got a tool that will go straight in there so rectangle 1.7 by 10.3 which is there I'll okay that at element put it on there same the other end. I'll use a uh, rectangle on the other side bits. So, at element, I'll stick one there, one there, one there. Let's cut through there. So it says collision with a tool. I'll, I'll rectify that in a second. I'll just do the rest of these. It's going to do the same on here. So, what I'll do now. I want to go to modify overlapping. I'll put in minus point five. I do. I do the same at the other end. Just roughly do it by eye. Just put in point five on this side. So, so now let's get rid of the construction lines so we can see a bit better. I'm going to use a special five. And before I do that, I can finish. Just see what that is. It's about 41 mil, so two hits with a rectangle will do. So I'll go punch processing at element. Just finish that side off. Now I'm going to get a special five and tag this in on the top and bottom. So punch in special special five is one of our largest largest uh, tag tools we've got. So put that in the top and the bottom. I'll just modify this um, the overlapping and just take that straight across the other side. Just go five mil for now. Just roughly do it by eye. So that's all the way over the other side. And now I'm going to go to process optimization, generate micro joint. It's set on point oh eight that do. So I'm gonna put micro joint now. So micro joint is just a tag to hold it in place and I'll do the same over here. 
So this is just leave it with four four tags on it, which will hold it in place. Um, and that's all we need to do. So now when we save this, so we can click on Save Selected Part as GMT. And now that's gone from a DXF file into a GEO file. And now this will be saved as a GMT file. So GMT file is just the GEO with all the tools put on it. So just OK that. It's overwriting an old file. This, this is an update. I'll just say yes. And this is the three parts that I wanted to show you from the DXF, the GEO, and that turns into the GMT file. I hope you're happy with this short video. Please subscribe and give me the thumbs up if you're happy with the content. Thank you.